Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I decided to grace you with a tree this time instead of the usual bush. Because you know why? Pile and stable well, that's why. The Globetrotters or whatever are here, playing their usual song as they always do. Always a pleasure to hear from them. And down here, I have no idea what's going to be down here. Fortunately, we don't have to look for a booble frog because, you know, that's just not a thing anymore. That shit's obsolete, man. Don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah, I missed. <laughs> Try that again. There we go. Put that away now. Put that thing away. You're going to get us all killed. <laughs> Absolutely, your worship. Look, I had everything under control until you let us down here. You know, it's not going to take him long to figure out what happened to us. Could be worse. It's worse. It just fell in the water. There's something alive in here. It's your imagination, kid. Something just touched my leg. It's amazing how many of these Star Wars clubs actually apply to what's going on here. Especially that whole something alive in here. Well, that was just perfect with that lifelike. Hell, as far as that goes, the thing that grabs them in the movie kind of looks like a lifelike. Dude, why am I talking so much about this? That guy had star fruit, or shock fruit rather. Or rather, I think it was the lifelike that had it. So we can open this chest here and see what we get. Ooh, Eightfold Blade with durability up, but only six attack. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know why we're dealing with a silver right now, or why I'm climbing a wall. You know, should be climbing a wall. But wait, though. No, wait, Luke. I think I just found the Booble Frog by accident here. Silver Bokoblin kind of led us to it. Well, we'll just have to pay him back later then, I guess, won't we? What the heck is going on down here, anyway? Why is this well so big? I'm supposed to be doing the side quest for Pen. I'm down here dinking around in the well. Have a arrow in the butt. Have another one in the butt. I'm always one-shotting those now, but I don't feel like my arrows are that much better than they were before. Well, I guess the one I'm using now is a 38, so isn't it? It's a 30 odd six. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. Well, let's just get this luminous stone. But, like, we got the Boogle Frog, so there's not really any need for anything else. And these rocks here, like, as long as we're farming the rare Talus Stones, there's almost no reason to hit them. Aside from, like, the flint and rock salt, I guess, that you would occasionally get out of them. Anyway, I don't think there was anything else in this room. So I'm just gonna head on out here. But I'm not gonna jump down, because you're in the way. Is he gonna, like, shoot right in here, I wonder? I'm gonna find out here. Oh my god, they can actually come in here. Jeez. Oh, and of course, they hit me. Where else is there for them to go, you know? Oh, but now, okay, okay, okay. You know, maybe I'm just done here. Maybe I don't want to deal with this. I don't have to fight everything down here. Wait a minute, though. A booble frog, but this was a well. Does this connect to a cave or something? Oh my god. I think I might have just wandered into a cave by accident. That was something, I, I did just jump in a well, didn't I? Let me see something here. That's the well right there. There's no question mark next to it, or should I say check mark? I think I'm. I think that must be connected to a cave or something, because there's not supposed to be booble frogs in wells. How about that? Boy, I'm gonna have to check that out, because I do not. Oh gosh, holy crap! Anyway, here's Pen. Hey there, partner. You're working really hard, and in the rain to boot. On top of that, even without wings, you traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. You're damn right, son. So let's go. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. For starters, the strange voice is crowing from Furrow Plain to the northwest, night after night after night. Leave the murmurs, leave the murmurs, at least that's what I heard. It sounds like she's saying that you need to go, like, off yourself or something. And I'm not all about that, let me tell you. I'm not all about that at all. It makes me uncomfortable, to tell you the truth. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go over there I want you to ban her from the Twitch channel. If you can do that, I would feel a lot better about the way things run around here. So why don't you just go do that? Well, she was singing. Maybe it went past 3 o'clock and I lost it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go, partner. Oh, okay, you had to... Oh. Well, I thought it would have asked me that the first time. Jeez, we spent all that time talking about the Twitch channel and crap. Anyway. Yeah, I see you over there. Yeah, I know what wonder tonic you had. Well, let me tell you. All right, let's let's do it. Okay, yeah, this is faster. Oh, hello. Leave the your video to anyway. Okay. That's the voice, all right, and it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda though? Might be, but where's it coming from? I don't know. I'm too scared to move. 
Yes, it's up to me then. Okay, now we can do this. Leave the urms, leave the urms. If no, do you have? It's like, don't worry me, but, you know, sinister. Leave the urms, leave the urms, leave the RMS? Isn't that like a... What is that? That's an acronym. I never follow those acronyms these days, let me tell you. Anyway, hello. Know the song so well. Storm Chasing Fox, hee hee hee. Crap, it's morning now, isn't it? Yeah, because, like, we stopped here. Oh, my God, the timing of this could be worse, could it? <laughs> well, let's make a fire. Except, wait, we can't do that either because it's raining. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, still waiting over there? All right, maybe it'll work this time. Let's go towards the trees. This will be the third time we tried to do this now. Leave the arms, leave the arms. If we're not, I'll do you harm. Oh, fire eyes, fire eyes. Oh, my God. All right, will it work? Seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. That's what she's actually singing. So another case of basically just misunderstanding what somebody said, you know, which doesn't give away instantly the thing about Zelda. You know, it's just a just a random problem. You know, so they don't all have to do with Zelda. You know, I think I think that it started out that way. Like somebody thought they saw her, and so they thought it was her that was singing or something. I don't know. Also, did you see those weapons in the background in that shot? So you know, I'm gonna go check those out, man. This is some pretty unique stuff over there. And I have space in my weapon inventory because of me beating up on all those freaking rare stone taluses, man. Let me tell you. You can really go through some weapons with that, but like, good. I mean, you need something to spend them on, you know? Oh yeah, we get another bonus here. Another red rupee, so I think that's eight. I believe the last one was seven. Yeah. It's kind of weird. The same thing happened to Austin John. Like, he got the second piece of armor on the ninth one. Rather than getting them on 4, 8, and 12, he got them on 4, 9, and 12. So I don't know if that's just a weird mistake. What, really? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, I don't already have that. I don't already have this. But you can make it out of a blue moblin horn. It's basically a pickaxe. <laughs> really no different than any other weapon in the game. They got you thinking, you know, that, oh, hey, this is really unique or something. I do something unique with it. But you kind of don't, really. These sticky lizards will be good for upgrading the froggy food once we get it. Should I pick up this other stuff? I, I guess. Blue, mob, blue Moblin Pulverizer. Uh, let's see if shield surfing back is any faster. I don't really know. As long as you kind of turn into the hills when they're going down, you'll have enough momentum from that that even if you're going uphill for a couple of seconds later, it won't matter too much. Okay, so he already gave us the reward. Why did I even come back here? Have we slept here? Maybe we should grab our points, just in case. Still up after sundown. How can I help? I don't really need you to. But I will sleep here, because I need the hearts, so... Works out pretty good. Never did use that stamina wheel, though. And that's usually the best part about it, you know? <laughs> well, stable. Oh, I thought that said Stabla for a second. Let me get my eyes checked, I'll tell you what. Wait, no, I didn't want to... I wanted to just take it. Yeah, thank you. Till night. Okay, got the pony going for it for sleeping at the inn. So, well, looks like we get another reward. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. So, let's see what we got here. I think I'm gonna go next to, um, wait, is this it right here? Oh my gosh, this is totally it. Okay, we're going here. This is where I usually go to go to the Great Fairy, but apparently I've been walking right past this quest all this time. Just eventually I have to go visit that Coliseum, huh? It's like right next door to here. So can we see it from here? I mean, we probably must be able to see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not even it. What are you doing? Actually, it's probably on the other side of that. But they really designed it in such a way that the one warp point, you know, would be between it and a mountain. Or, strike that. Reverse it. Anyway. There you are. Right over here. What's going on? That is strange. Hello, partner. You here to investigate the ruins, too? I decided to be British this time. I admire your spirit. Most folks wouldn't let a store keep them up so late, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Oh. oh, you're also a reporter. I just had a bit of a strange experience is all. Um... You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman said, please, you have to help me. But I said, no, fuck you, because, you know, you should help yourself, because I have to. And I'm like, what? And she's like, what? It doesn't matter who they are, if they're in danger, you should help them. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right, but now I feel bad about myself, so I'm just gonna run away. Anyway, her life is in danger, and I don't care, but I guess maybe you do, so maybe you can do something about it, so we're gonna go do that now. Um, why am I still playing? Um, hi, make yourself at home, that's wonderful. 
Um, so this one, if you actually activate it, it'll tell you where to go. And wonder of wonders, I was going the exact wrong way. Uh, it's times like these when it's really nice to have that Sheikah armor, though, because, man, you can tear through this. Or you just shield surf, that's even faster. There she is, right there. All you gotta do is follow this chick. Oh, now, you bump into her back. Mies Ghost Traveler, huh? Hello there, I hope your travels are freaking well, so I take it- Wait a minute, I'm, this might not be the right- Um, uh, this might be a Yiga. Uh, don't take that battle stance there just now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, go ahead and tell me. It's all the nice files you would like a map. Oh, she's gonna tell me something here. She's gonna tell me where one of them is. Here's what I've heard. Right there, a piece from a very snappy outfit from Misko's collection. Said to keep you safe in lightning. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna think about that one. Yeah, the rubber suit. Oh, you haven't started on that yet. Well, I guess that's where one of them is. And that's, you know, technically how you would go about finding these normally, I guess. Anyway, um, oh, there we go. You're right over here. Oh no, my poor friend, please, you must save her. Are you okay? No, b -b blonde hair. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. Poor regal friend. Is she cuddly and a lovable face? Uh, uh. Oh, thank goodness you're telling me to go downhill instead of uphill, because that would just be stupid. Alright, wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. I'd be glad to. Not really, but I'm just trying to be nice here. Oh, we got some Aracudas down here. Maybe we can stop by and pick up some extra wings. I'm not sure how we're doing on those, actually. Um, no, that's that's not doing so hot there, that shield surfing. Funny thing about these guys, though, is they take a rest on the walls. I don't know if you ever see them do that anywhere else. You might be able to see them do it up by the Wind Temple, but yeah. So this is like an easy kill right here, if you have a bow that's not broken, you know. We use this Demon King's bow at some point here. But for now, a knight's bow will suffice. So they have one HP, so it doesn't even matter. In fact, I should probably be using my weakest bow, actually. Or whichever one is closest to breaking. Which I don't know if I necessarily can tell right now. It's like, you either have a bow that's like full strength, or you have one that's partially used, or you have one that's on the verge of breaking. But the partially used, there's no way to tell how partially, so... And, uh, well, thank goodness I picked up all that dazzle fruit. So I got one right here, and I might not get it out before they hit me. But if I do, that's great. Because I guess that's great. Hmm. I should really update my car playlist with more semi-sonic. I was just thinking about that song. It's called Brand New Baby. It's really catchy, but it's also kind of angry at the same time. He's like being all sarcastic, like, Oh, you got a brand new baby. I guess that's great. But he sounds so happy when he sings it, you know. You can just sense the sarcasm oozing from every orifice. Let's go ahead and spear this dude in the back. Yeah, I mean, even black ones take this much to kill. Just imagine we start fighting silver ones. I mean, at that point, you might as well just start taking out your freeze. And maybe... Like, you know, go freeze thunder, freeze thunder. Is that guy still sleeping? Did he sleep through all that? Do we have that on camera yet? Hang on. If I'm gonna get a picture of a silver cobbling, this would be the best time to do it. Yeah, buddy. Hell, as far as that goes, maybe even try to grab a sneak strike, because they will drop stuff. Horns and stuff. Like, I wouldn't normally waste a puff shroom on one monster, but if it gives me a chance for, Well, hell, as far as that goes, I can get a sneak strike without a puff shroom. Right, this is where you would probably want to have that eightfold blade. Let's try it. Let's just see how much we get out of this, but make sure we hit him with the hardest thing we got, which I think, uh, do I still have that 64 in here? No, I don't think I do. I don't know what's on the Master Sword, though. I think, uh, nothing, actually, so probably 42 would be the way to go here. And 42 times 8 is what? <laughs> it's that. He didn't even wake up! Holy crap, dude! Okay, we'll get him with the Puff Shroom now, so we can do a second Sneak Strike and just be done with this. Get behind him, sneak strike, and there you go, he's done. And if you want a way to deal with silvers, that's probably it right there. As long as you got a weapon that's 40 plus, he only got, you got him in two hits. Of course, I was lucky because it happened to be nighttime, which I've been keeping at night most of the time. So he was sleeping, so I got the first one for free. Otherwise, though, there's no reason why you can't use two puff rooms other than the fact that you might not have to, because you're not spending a lot of time in the depths. 
Now, that route that I take where I fight the mini bosses, which I think I've mentioned about eight times now, there's a lot of pup shrooms along that route, just basically around the trees. There's also quite a few muddle buds, so. Anyway, she wants me to climb up there, boy, I tell ya. Uh, uh, Fingal and Einhorn, this shit, I tell ya. So, do I have a rocket shield by any chance? Pretty sure I don't. I sure don't. But you know what I haven't really used a lot of is balloons. Or if I can make myself a balloon best. Get up there even faster. I mean, at this point, I don't know. I got enough stamina. I can just climb this shit. Plus, I got the climbing gear. Like, if we ever want to get any use out of it, this would be the time to. Because at that point, you know, climbing would be faster than building the vehicle. I think that ultimately, like, when you really get down to it, that is the crux of the argument as to why building vehicles is not worth it. Because I could probably do... I wanted to do this, actually, when I was going to make the LP. Or when I... When I... When I was going to make the LP? No, too late for that. I think you're making it already, buddy. I was going to, like, you know, do a side-by-side. -side, once where I climbed up the mountain. Once where I built a balloon and tried to go up the mountain. And just put them side-by-side -side and see which way was faster, you know? Like, I'm not even jumping here. If I had the set bonus, I could totally jump and it'd be even better. But, yeah, like, this is enough to get up here. Well, is it, though? I'm looking at this now. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's enough. Um, just let Link do his little oos and oos and oos. And oos and oos and oos. <laughs> Sorry if that's really annoying. I know there's people out there that are might sensitive to such things. But, hey, we thought of stuff to talk about on the way up. Sort of. For better or worse. All right. And with that, we're at the top. Now then, what, pray tell, where are you? You're right over there. Once again, quest marker will tell you. Was it here? <laughs> this is like that quest in Xenoblade 2. There was a quest in Xenoblade 2 that was like this, but you had to go around, um, what was it, Gormot Plain? You go in and all around this tree. But, in that game, you didn't quite, it wasn't quite as easy to get around. So, I spent, like, I don't know how much, how long on that quest just following that person around to all the different spots he wanted me to go to. Anyway, well, you can see the quest marker down there, so let's just jump across. Woo! Wee you! I'm not even taking into account there might be Koroks out here. I should probably be checking, but for now, let's just go ahead and see what she's got to say. This way! Sorry to test you, but you know what? I'm gonna tell you something right now, and you're not gonna like it. Guess what? I'm not who you think I am. I'm sure you've never seen this before, so allow me to regale you with the surprise attack of your life. The surprise butt sex of your life, man, let me tell you. You're the one who's getting the butt sex, bitch. So get over here, because you saw my blinker, bitch. Yeah, that's right, you sure did. Oh my god. <laughs> that is actually a song, believe it or not. I don't remember where I heard it. It was like one of those songs that Dad listened to. He thought it was hilarious. He was always listening to hilarious music, like when the Spin Doctors first came out with Little Miss Can't Be Wrong, well, he loved it, and it was funny. Especially at the end when he says, what does he say in that song? He says, I hope you, he says, I hope that cigarette burns and it makes you cough. I hope you heard this song and it pissed you off. You know, those were the days, man, when that kind of thing was just not so common. Nowadays, everybody's all sarcastic and angry and... I couldn't be happier, because good lord, you can't have enough of that. Uh, do I really mean that, though? I don't know, man. I don't care, either. I probably should care. Anyway, we got the second piece of the froggy suit, so yay. Alright, so long. Get out of here. You're done. You're done. You're done! I couldn't resist. I had to really... <laughs> Why have I been doing that so much lately? I had that... There's like one part of Super Mario Galaxy where I think I'm about to get a star that has a time limit and I have like two seconds left and as I'm getting really close to the star I'm like this I'm like oh yeah oh yeah and then I don't get the star I don't know what video that is or how what in relation to this video I might I don't know but uh, I'm just gonna grab this Arrowcuda on the way down here I'm gonna mess up my throat with all this shit man I'm telling you sneak strike sneak strike sneak strike can I get can I get there we go Oh god, jeez, just right in the heart, man. You gotta make it so painful. I mean, hopefully he didn't feel a lot of pain, because I'm not all about that. I've been saying that a lot lately, too. I'm not all about that. Like, what are you? Okay, so that one's done. He gave us the reward. So what do we have left, then? We got a few more stables. Let me see what we got. Outskirt we did. Mini stable doesn't have one. 
Highland? Wait, did we do Highland? What is this? Actually, on the subject of you getting the froggy armor after 4 and 9 and 12, it might actually be 4, 9, and 13. That would make more sense, because then you do 4 for one, 5 for the second one, 4 for the third one, and it's all, like, symmetrical and stuff, you know? It's like poetry, sort of. It rhymes. It's Beatles here. It's early in the morning. Everything feels good. I don't remember where Penn is for this one. There's a Goron all up in here, boy, I tell you. I, I know where the guy is for the quest, but I don't know where our master is. Let's see here. Is there like any trees around here? He might be standing by a tree. There's Beetle. Oh, sure enough, he is. He's right over there. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Took me a minute to find him, but he's over here. Yeah, all right, so basically east. And I scared the birds away. Shit. That was been a, been a perfect time for some photography there. I don't think I've gotten a single bird yet, except for maybe those flamingos on the first island. No time to sleep when a mystery like this is a loss, my keen reporter instincts. Goddard's been over there waiting for the guests to arrive, but they haven't come back yet. Maybe they decided they didn't like it here, so they decided to stay where they were. Maybe they went to PAX West and decided, hey, I like Seattle. It's actually comfortable there all around, year round, basically. You know, basically Shine Spark. But then they realized it costs like 3,000 rupees a day to live there. And so they rethought their thing, but now they're homeless and they can't afford to get back, so let's, uh, let's hear it. No sign of them. Something isn't right. Agus and the rest should have crossed that bridge to get here, but what's going on? Well, Tim just explained it. They're in Seattle. They need a, they need a, a ride back. Would you be willing to drive out there? It's a three-day drive. I, I'd be willing to pay for the gas, but uh, I might as well take out a loan for that. Okay, so this, the, so the quest marker on this one's not going to actually tell you where they are, but they're just across the river from the stable, so all we got to do is just go over there. I am probably just going to swim. Actually, can I swim that? Huh. I don't know, maybe I should think twice. What I might do instead... Wait, there's a well here. Jeez, I don't have time for these wells right now. Oh, well, we'll take a peek. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Like, this is not... I mean, this adds to our well count, which we haven't really been back there to the lady who's counting them up for us. So it's probably like 200 rupees there waiting for us now. Is that a chest in the wall? What the heck is that? Do I literally have to build a table? I think I might actually have to do that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Really? Okay. I mean, if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. Let's just do this right here. Grab this and stick it on top here. And then we'll just grab the whole unit and bring it over closer to where the chest is. Stand here and ascend. Yeah, stuff like this, building stuff like this is not as time consuming as you might think. Once you start to get used to it, it kind of just goes without saying. I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna pull again and I can't get, yeah, there we go. She just pulled it right into myself. It's like when you're trying to like, yank a nail out and uh, the hammer pulls back and knocks you in the head. Or like when you have a sock that's all bunched up and you try to just bang it against your leg to straighten it out, but in the process you bang yourself in the balls. I think that's really all there is to do here. <laughs> just that chest, no more. And that's fine. I am fine with that because I, do. I didn't want to be distracted by something like this right now anyway. So this actually works out pretty good. And now we're in the water. Since I'm not sure I can get across this river by swimming. Oh, I can totally do it. There's like land right there. I was going to jump on this and just, like, paraglide, span Tulin, you know, the whole routine. But no, this won't be a problem. We'll just get across this way. And I almost was able to get him out there for a second. Actually, this might be a little close, but I think we'll be okay. Move the camera up a little bit so we can see how close we are here. And across we go. Do I have you? It's always worth a look with these animals because there's different, like, m versions of them. Oh, those aren't even animals. I thought they were like goats or something. Is that? Oh my gosh. Have we not seen one of these yet? This is a golden apple. You see these occasionally on the apple trees. If you go to the orchard, you'll get a bunch of them there. We actually need those for a side quest. Actually, five of them. So, go ahead and get them. If you see one, definitely pick it up. It's good for recipes. And if you put it into a recipe, I believe it guarantees a critical cook, which, you know, could be very useful. Yeah, it sounds sun such fireflies. They're not running away because I'm stealthy. Hell yeah. Yeah, just keep going this way. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay, let's see. Can we get you one? I think I already have you. Yeah, I already have you. Screw it. Um, I keep getting sidetracked here. 
Oh, I just killed a bat with a pickaxe. Isn't this iron pick? Oh shoot, we got a sneaky river snail over here. I think this is actually in the general direction of where they are too, so... Oh, there they are over there. You just gotta look for the tents. And you try not to stay tense, and don't live in the past tense, and all that stupid stuff. I got distracted by a couple of keys and bokoblins back there, so I might have to cut some of that out. But anyway, come over here to this guy. He's like, oh, Finkel and Einhorn animal meat. I ate some poison meat, and it sucks. Can you make the right meat for me? The recipe's on the table over there. So it's raw meat, highly in rice, rock salt. Very simple, but apparently they did something wrong. Spoiler, what they actually did was stupid as hell. They put in a monster part instead of the right ingredients. So raw meat... No, no, no. My hearts are already full. Thank you for that. Hylian rice and rock salt. Where is that? It's down here. Just look for, like, the pinkish Kyoko Kitty Giddy hair color. <laughs> nice one. What do we got? <laughs> meat and rice bowl! I don't... That's a new one. We didn't have that yet. How do you not have that one? Good lord. Uh, yeah, Urk. So, who's the one who's, like, really sick? This guy over here. Who suggested? Who said monster meat? Oh, oh. Okay, first first rule of cooking, always follow the recipe. Yeah, everybody's dead in this episode. Oh, here we go, this guy. Aww. Oh, help, please, Princess Zelda, hand over the meal. Don't listen to that bitch. Seriously, how many times have I called her a bitch in this LP? I think that's the second time, actually. Uh. First time was the first time we saw her at Hyrule Castle, or at that Smash Mouth place, you know. Anyway, he's like, get a load of this, and holy crap, now they're all good. No more food poisoning for you. All you gotta do is eat something that doesn't have poison in it, and it reverts the poison. Don't, don't buy into all those doctors with their commercials trying to sell you their antidotes. Screw all that. Just eat normal food, and it goes away. Because it's pee! Sorry, just having a little Apollo Justice moment here. But yeah, Hylian Rice. And, Rock Salt. Oh, they're just giving me my ingredients back. Oh, but they gave me back a better piece of meat than I gave them. Well, isn't that always uh. the way? Sorry, my man meat has to be so disappointing, but... Uh, I appreciate that yours is nice and big. Oh, so, oh, hey, he's just gonna give it to me here. Well, thank you. Thank you for not making me go back to the stable. I love this guy, dude. Seriously, chase down any leads. Link explains because he can talk, and yeah. You just can't talk to where you can hear it. But Silver Rupee, though. Yeah, we're getting a pay upgrade here. We're making some rupees off of this, too. Oh, purple, even better. Jeez, or even worse, but better because... Better than what we got last time. That's ten. Okay, that's ten. Oh my god, yes. Okay, let me grab these silence rooms. Is there anything else here I'd, like, want to pick up, though? Is there any more? Y'all, there's more Sneaky River sales. Yes. Please, yes. I was about to say there's some Koroks in the area, but it looks like we already got them, because apparently we've already been here. Okay, so next time on Tears of the Kingdom, we're going to finish off these uh, these pen side quests, and we're going to pen our interests and in just penp.com, where you can write fiction, and I think you get paid for it, but maybe I should check that place out again. I've had an account for like four years, and occasionally they email me. Anyway, bye!